official language of the JAMA Conference, contained in document 42C28. I am pleased to invite His Excellency Mr. Mohamed uh, Omar, Ambassador of the Republic of Indonesia, to introduce the item. Bahasa Indonesia has played a pivotal role since the pre-independence era with its significance ingrained in the 1928 Youth Oath. This solemn pledge highlighted the language's indispensable role in fostering national unity amidst the rich tapestry of our linguistic diversity and our struggle for independence. Designated as official language in 1945, it acts as a bridge language, seamlessly facilitating inter-ethnic communication among 1,340 different ethnic groups and 718 local languages that spread across our archipelago of more than 17,500 islands. Bahasa Indonesia is spoken by over 275 million people, served as the primary means of communication across various sectors representing approximately 3.52% of global population, the world's fourth most populous nation. Beyond our borders, Bahasa Indonesia is part of education program in 52 countries, supporting around 150,000 active foreign learners worldwide since 2015. Madam President, Madam Director General Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, Indonesia, a proud member of UNESCO since 1950, upholds a robust commitment to multiculturalism, cementing our identity as a cultural melting pot. This commitment nurtures an environment that promotes proficiency in Bahasa Indonesia, contributing to a deeper understanding of our rich national heritage. In our global commitment, Indonesia seeks to foster meaningful people-to-people -people connections and enhance international understanding by specific focus on raising awareness of Bahasa Indonesia. Indonesia's global leadership began by hosting the first international Asian-African conference in Bandung in 1955. This historic event played a significant role in the decolonization process where the Asian and African leaders committed to principles of world peace, cooperation, freedom from colonialism and imperialism, equitable global governance and global justice. The gathering marked a pivotal movement in developing nations history, leading to the establishment of the non-aligned movement and the conceptualization of the South. Madam President, as we consider the prospect of Bahasa Indonesia being acknowledged as the official language of the General Conference of UNESCO, we envision a future marked by equitable information dissemination, inclusivity, and a deeper understanding and appreciation of our language and literature. Such acknowledgement, ladies and gentlemen, would not only fortify collaboration within UNESCO, but also underscore our steadfast commitment to advancing global culture, peace, and harmony, and pursuing sustainable development. I thank you, Madam President.